this is future me. I am going to do two giveaways. So they will be listed at the end. I will do the video. Um, if you had listed a comment in one of my last videos, there was a giveaway. Sadly, a past winner never responded. So I am going to pick two new ones and hopefully get those out to you guys this week. Um, my email will be in the box below. Um, so anyway, stay tuned. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have March's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I also have a couple add-ons. Um, Ipsy is changing and I can't say I know the nitty gritty. I've watched a couple people's videos, um, but BoxyCharm and Ipsy are combining. I'm kind of excited about that. I didn't, I've only gotten Boxy a couple times, so I'm kind of excited for the, the changes. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I love Ipsy. The Ipsy X last month, I don't feel for me personally, was as good as it normally is. And I have a feeling it might be because of the merger. I believe our combined boxes start in April, but it could be May. Honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm just along for the ride because I really like Ipsy. It's about $30 a month. You get five full-size products. You get to pick three of them. Honestly, I find it saves me a lot of money and lets me try a lot of things that I would never buy. Uh, case in point would be the, I wouldn't, no, they're not add-ons, but like they're sales. So my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite face wash is Perlise Blue Lotus, the four-in-one milk or whatever. This is $36 or $38. And I had gotten it through Ipsy a bunch, um, you know, for discounted, for free, whatever. And then I ran out of it and I realized how much my skin loves it. There are quite a few people who will tell you not to spend a lot of money on cleanser because it's only on your skin for a little bit. And that sounds to be absolute sound, good advice. But when I stop using this or the um, Perlis watermelon, my skin gets redder. Um, so for me, it is worth it. I went to repurchase it maybe a year ago or so and they were out. And then I couldn't bring myself to do the 30, I think 36, $38. So I did the watermelon, um, which is 18. And then I saw this in a sale and I didn't get it because it was like $34 and it came with two other products that I did not like. Then it was $14. I couldn't help but get two of them. Basically I got two for less than the price of one. And then it came with these tools. I'm not gonna unbox them because they're gonna go on a giveaway, but they're kind of pointless, which is fine. Um, it's like a spatula to get stuff out and then just a non vibrating or anything, kind of you can rub it in. So these are just gonna go in a giveaway, but for $28, I got two of these. So that's another reason I really love, you know, Ipsy because in the sales, you get to pick up a lot of things for a good price. So let's see, I always pick my choices and then I promptly forget what I pick, which is good because that makes today kind of a surprise if we're being honest. Um, once again, I was kind of iffy. I really wish there was a way they could give us more choices. Um, as I wish there was a way that they could, um, I know they probably have to like only give so many people so many choices or they, you know, they wouldn't have enough, but I wish that they could find a way like, we could come back later and they would open up the choices. Back to the whole Ipsy saves us money. I'm about ready to need a new foundation. And I ha love the Pearly CC Cream. It's almost, I would say probably with tax right around $40. This I guarantee you was a choice for some people. I wish, or a choice or they put it in their box. I wish they would have put it in my box. I've not tried the BB Cream. So I paid $12 in the add-ons. SPF 40, Ageless Glow, Natural Glowy Coverage, uh, Bacchiol, which I believe is a kind of like a retin, a natural retinol, collagen and vitamin C. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Um, Perlis has a couple foundations um, and they have a quiz and I do match up with the CC cream, but I thought for $12, why not try it? Um, it says helps improve firmness, re reduce wrinkles. So I got this for $12 and it came with a pearly um, um, sponge. I have never used the pearly sponge. This will probably go in a giveaway. I just am a brush girl, um, but I am excited to try this. But I wish they would have given me this as one of my choices. 
I do know one of the things going away are these bags. I personally really say hallelujah because they just really go in giveaways and I don't, I don't use them generally. So let's see what we have because I absolutely forget <laughs> um, what they gave me and what I picked. All right, first up looks like a conditioner and mask. So I love trying hair care products. I'm going to try to um, pull up information, um, but the Ipsy app is very clunky. So this is the cleanest lab hydrating daily mask and conditioner. Um, and you know, anymore, they're all kind of like silicone free, etc. Oh, I'm going to be off topic because I was pulling out my thing. So the Beauty Boost. How many of you do the Beauty Boost? It's $15. You get an extra product and it's supposed to be a really glam product. For me, I feel like you can boost your box by just doing the add-ons. Like I boosted my box by getting the Perlease. So for me, I feel like the Boost seems like they would have to give me a really special product for $15. Um, considering a lot of these, I feel like... Um, you can just add on your own stuff. Um, so what do you, does anybody do that? I just feel like it might be a waste of money or I'd be really disappointed because I would have high expectations. So this is $42. Um, so let's see, condition, oh gosh, leave up to 30 minutes. So I will not be doing that. I usually put it on, then I shave my legs. Um, so anyway, not too much exciting going on here. Um, looks like a couple of the reviews um, that they were impressed, very hydrating, a little goes a long way. Anyway, I am generally always happy to try a conditioner. So very happy to have that. Up next, we have a um, sunscreen. So this is by First Aid Beauty, and I like quite a bit of First Aid Beauty products. Um, so I don't remember whether I picked it or they gave it to me. This is a mineral sunscreen, SPF 30. $28 value as avocado oil and vitamin E. Um, and I generally do like most of their products. It says safe for sensitive skin. Um, I like the packaging. I'm interested to see. I'm very kind of picky on face sunscreen. And it doesn't really say much. It says never greasy or streaky. Let's see. Oh, it's a pump. I did not expect it to be a pump and now I'm just dropping everything. Um, so let's see. Maybe if it ever comes out. Still waiting. Good heavens. I don't know. It may never come out. All right. Literally three pumps later, it came out. So this is what we are looking like. Um, I will say it has a thicker, at first it seems thicker, but it is sort of um, rubbing in. So I don't see how this is not going to leave a white cast. Like, I don't know. I Now that is quite a bit of product for my hand. Um, it is rubbing in. It takes a bit to rub in. Um, so it does go away and actually leaves a very smooth, um, I would say almost like a blurring primer type thing. I would be interested how that plays under makeup. So we will see. I know rubbing my face like that would definitely make it red. Um, even if I don't use this for my face, I will totally use this for my neck or my arms. So sunscreen in California always goes a long way. All right. So they have me picked, and I do love mascara. I use mascara all the time. So they pretty much give me a mascara every single time, which on one hand, I, I love trying mascaras. On the other hand, I don't know if I really need any more. Um, so here we have the Dr. Lara De Dev Dev Devgan, Devgan, I don't know, Scientific Beauty Extreme Lengthening Mascara. Um, and I do love a lengthening mascara. I have never heard of that person. Um, and this is like shrink wrapped. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm going to be able to get into this without pausing. Oh no, here I go. $40 value. 
So like I would probably never go out and buy a $40 mascara, which again, is kind of why I like these boxes. You get to try things that you wouldn't ordinarily buy. So I definitely prefer lengthening. I am not into volume. Volume to me equals clumping. Now I will say this is a, <laughs> it's shriek wrapped again. Um, this is very, um, plastic, simple packaging, which I don't mind. So I have the better than sex one that has very bougie packaging, but I honestly think the product's kind of blah. And then my, some of my favorites are Maybelline. I feel like Maybelline has sturdier packaging than this guy, but maybe the price is going to the actual formula, but the packaging is very lightweight. All right, so it has a slightly curved wand with the silicone bristles. So I'm excited to try it, but who knows? So anyway, there's that. I do love mascara. Sorry guys. All right, I picked this not knowing what I would think. This is Tarte C. I often tend to like Tarte products. I will say the lip kind of crayons like this, I either love or I hate. Um, so this is a Tarte C H2O Balm Lip Tint in Zen. This is a $21 value. It says microalgae makes lips plump and smooth. So I don't care at all about plumping. Um, I had a lip crayon like this from Clinique and I loved it. It was just in the wrong shade. And then I had another one by Floss that was honestly terrible. Um, basically no pigment. I'm a little concerned. I almost feel like I shouldn't swatch this because I can just tell you it's too brown for me. So I think I'm not going to swatch it. Um, this is one of those where I try to convince myself, you know, it's my bag. I should just try it. But I can almost tell you this is too brown and too red. And so I think I'm just going to save it for a giveaway. Um, I'm more of a mauve pink kind of girl. And this is just, I think, going to be too brown and I won't wear it. So sadly, I'm not going to swatch it. I was going to swatch it, but I think I just, it's better to go in a giveaway. And then our last product is Fenty. I love trying Fenty products. And let's see what this is. Bright Fix. So I feel like this is possibly one of those unnecessary things. It's not a concealer. It's an under eye brightener. And so this is a $26 value. Now they're saying concealer. So maybe it's, um, I don't know. This says eye brightener and I'm pretty sure she sells a concealer too. This is in golden ivory. The golden kind of scares me, but let's see it. So this is the packaging, which I really like. Um, I really like this clear. And um, it has this like kind of round thing where I think you could then smooth it out. So let's put a little. So I think it just, I mean, it does kind of look like a concealer there. Um, so I definitely think it will brighten. I do think it's kind of the right shade. It may be too light, which is, I guess, fine because it's supposed to be a brightener. Um, so we will see. This will probably be a product I try but might not use because I tend to not use concealers. I have tried several concealers and I just don't tend to like how they look. But I do love Fenty. I do love trying Fenty. So we will give that a whirl. Um, I wonder why they call it a brightener versus just calling it a concealer. I thought it was going to be like a product that just kind of like a highlighter for your eyes. So let's see, this brochure came out and I, I wiped the excess of my makeup on it, but it's talking about the icon box. So the Ipsy X is going to be the icon box. Um, it'll be the same membership you love, the new name and more perks. Uh, it'll be $58 a quarter. You get eight full size, um, it says uber coveted products. So I think they're trying to say they're going to up their game as far as products. Um, so anyway, that wasn't really that useful. So that is my box. I am happier, I think, with this box maybe than I was with my Ipsy Glam Bag X. 
Uh, definitely like trying the conditioner. I will, and I will definitely enjoy these two. What is my other thing? Did I, oh, the sunscreen. So yeah, I think this box was definitely useful. Anyway, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great, between my two names, I will ship it out as soon as you email me your address. Um, I have the filter set. It already, um, gathered, um, the number of comments. I did the same thing for this one. Um, so let's go ahead and see who is the first winner. All right. So this, um, Lori is my first winner. And so congratulations. Um, and my email will be down below and let's see who we have for our second winner. All right, um, so Mother Goose is our second winner. And again, my email will be down below. Congratulations to both of you. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon.